So we have got Musiala as the brand new SBC. We've got an 87, two 86s, an 85, an 84 with a team in a week, a normal 84, an 83 with a team in a week, an 83 and an 82 with a team in a week. Nine different SBCs to get him done. It's a lot of SBCs, especially with Keen that we've had. Obviously, Rafinha from last week is a big SBC. Technical plus, five star, four star, six foot. He is a cam center mid or left mid. He has got some very nice stats. It's a good upgrade for him, let's be real. It's it's definitely could could go pretty worse for him. Now, A, is he worth the grind? That's gonna be the big question, really. And then B, how do you do it for as little as possible? Now, there is a couple of ways, and most definitely it all depends on how you see it. This SBC is coming in at 500,000, give or take. In terms of the upgrade, it, it's it's a solid upgrade. Like, obviously, still got the technical. I would, I would be questioning a little bit the fact that we're looking at four on the shooting, five passing, and then twos and ones for 500,000. It, it, it's nice for what he's got, but I mean, no change to the playstyle plus. He is still a four star, five star, uh, four star, five star, and Shadow Striker plus plus and inside forward. So he's got pluses on everything. That would be, for me, a very questionable upgrade in terms of spending that much more on him. Like, obviously, the passing and shooting, great, but. I would kind of expect everything else to follow suit with that amount of an SBC. Now, he is there for 27 days, so that is a good thing. Like, he's there for a considerable amount of time, to be fair to him. Um, obviously, you've got 87s, 86, 85s. So, really, 84 and below are just a, a fodder filler. It's what they've been doing. They've been putting in a bunch of SBCs to get rid of as much SBC duplicate, as much of your club from the low end as well. It means nothing. It very rarely adds up to any value. When you look at kind of his SBCs in general, you've got like um, the lower ones. So what's that? Oh, that's an inform. So realistically, if you look at a lot of these, like the 83 rated squad, 21,000. You can get that done for practically free. The informs practically free we've got so many informs they are just trying to take them all away because the number one thing is we have got the 81 team in a week upgrade again we've obviously got a road to the knockout total rush card that we can do and then also obviously the team of the week and icons if we want as well so there is a lot of need for team of the weeks you get them in champs every week you get them in rivals every week you get pretty much a team of the week every like day or two with this sbc granted you still have to put an sbc in there but that kind of gets rid of the value of the team of the week already plus then all of the others you can just get from natural packs as well so i would suggest trying to grind them out for the team of the weeks as much as possible set yourselves the goal because you need 182 at a minimum so we're looking anywhere between 79 80 to a preferable 81 we then have one that's on for an 83 rated team i would suggest a minimum of 81 but 80 could be stretched and then 82 would be more better for that 84 i'd definitely say an 82 or an 83 if possible and that is all of the team of the weeks needed so you only need technically three of them so that's already good. So if you've got them, that takes out a whole load of change really for them. Because at the minimum, you're looking 10 to 15k. So you've taken out a solid 45k, say, worth of value out of this SBC already. When it comes to the high end then, because this is where everybody has that debate. Because realistically, there is only a handful of ways to grind this game now. There's not necessarily a crazy amount, especially when we don't have the exchange yet. That that will be coming very soon. So first and foremost, I would be trying to do all of these anyway. Tradable is... or. If they are tradable, we know we've got Prime Gold players untradable. They are the ones that you want to sell to try and get some coins back into your club. That, that's kind of number one. Anything tradable, I get rid of. I sell on to make some money. That, that's, that's it. Anything untradable is what we're trying to work with here. When it comes to upgrades, we actually now don't have anything. So this makes this grind so much harder to replicate straight off the bat because we don't have anything to put any League SBC cards in there or anything like that. Now, you've got a couple of ways of doing this and, and most definitely... If there's no right or wrong answer and I think a lot of people think that these are going to be done in a matter of hours like this this takes you a long time to grind the whole point of EA making an SBC like this is for you to spend money 
play the game to an excessive amount and that's really it like there is no other ways of playing this game so you want to do all of the basics right first so we want to have a look and make sure you've got a 15 or 10 coin pack there make sure you've got that make sure you've opened up your preview uh, pre preview preview pack up just in case you manage to get anybody good in that obviously have a look at all of the chem styles all of the leagues as well they do sell so make sure you do that and then also the silver players as well because that's always another great value in themselves so so again, kits are going to be what's looking at here more so than anything because some of them do have a tasty value on them. So say you've done all that. Um, I don't know if there's any promo packs that are actually worth doing. Uh, five aside includes one rare player, but one of 583. Uh, okay, I mean, think of another way to uh, sell a pack. Um, there's just a, a lot, to be honest. <laughs> really, unfortunately for this, like you've got these. These are kind of good if you're looking for loans. Um, definitely not a terrible one if you're looking to finish off the win daily objective. So where you want to go is to SBCs. That's going to be the best point to start because you want to be looking at realistically the league SBC, bronze, silver upgrades, gold upgrades. Like if you're trying to do this for free, because realistically that's going to be the only way that you can actually start. You've got objectives, you've got matches you can play if you want to do squad battles for rewards, rivals if you've still got them for next Thursday, and then champs is obviously on this weekend that you can do for the most amount to be able to try and put in as much as possible into him already. That's going to be number one. And you could follow this same for Lewandowski as well, who came out also. So that's kind of be the gameplay packs, objectives. They're going to be the ways. So there is now, at the minute, the premium mixed and the mixed league upgrades, no exchange, and also no, well, I believe it's going to be an 81 combo pack next week or coming Monday. That will be the upgrade Monday, which is where we end up putting a lot of the lower end fodder into it so that we can grind the top end out. So with that being said, the mixed and the premium are going to kind of balance off each other. Now, I've definitely gone through and had a look at a lot of this because the, the problem we have with the premium at the moment is that the Lib and Sud is very expensive. So I, I kind of hear you. And, and I think a lot of people uh, saw on a previous video that, that that's just not grindable. And the whole point is not necessarily to go out and buy everybody because th that would be absurd. Like when we look at it on Footbin, according to them, it's coming in at 22,000, which it probably is if you buy everybody. But the problem is there is you have got to grind a little bit as well. Like we could see a lot of these silvers, all two, three K all in there. You, you shouldn't be buying everybody because that's the whole point of grinding it for as little as possible. And unfortunately, that will take some time. It's not there's nothing that is going to be free in this game. So trying to grind out these three on the side, Lib and Suds, if you get them from here, then obviously don't sell them. But anything else do sell because they are tradable. Anything from this side, you want to keep untradable. Lib and Suds is the last one I normally try and do because it is a very difficult one. If you don't have golds, if you don't have high silvers, it does become increasingly more difficult because as well, it is a one club max. So if I go into my Libs right now, we only just did this SBC, so I've, uh, yeah, I've only really got a fair few here. So you can see, I'm already really low on the silvers. So what I need to do from there is, if I know that that one can't be done, I need to go and do some bronze upgrades for silvers. Like that, that's kind of the whole point of it. So doing the bronze pack method is where you kind of get some coins back because obviously you can theoretically make some coins back from it which is a very proven method it may not be as quick as we've normally seen in previous years but it definitely still makes you coins back which is nice so that that's the whole point of that method then doing it into the bronze upgrades and if we ever get the premium bronze upgrades in the matter of weeks they're going to be perfect to do to try and get as many high rated lib and suds so whilst doing this you can see right there perfect absolutely perfect that's the whole point of it um, um, obviously a spaniel too what we're also doing here which i think is the caveat to this is by doing the mixed league sbc as well if we're doing the silver uh, the bronze upgrades we should be getting potential players for the mixed league upgrade as well so we should be looking at them in the bronze packs whilst doing them so we keep league two hyper motion mls efl and then obviously Serie b bundesliga two but then also keeping some of the bronze lib and suds as well if we keep doing this we sell off this side or Oh, these are untradeable. We sell off these two and we keep these two. These go and go into the premium as much as possible. We keep obviously a lot of the higher rated Lib and Suds. The lower Lib and Suds go into obviously this one because it doesn't need as much. And you just kind of bounce them off each other. The more that you do, the better. 
any of the non-league SBCs would normally go into the upgrade pack of your choice. So you normally have the difference between a gold upgrade or you can go and do, for instance, the 81 combo upgrade, which I believe is coming Monday. So that would go into there and then you just keep going round until you're at a point where you can finish a part of this player. Now, I'm not saying this is going to take you 10 minutes, an hour, two hours. It could take a couple of days of grinding. But realistically, there's not a lot else to do on the game. If you don't want to play an excess amount of matches every single day, it's going to be your best choice. And to be honest, the only other way is just not bother doing him, to be fair. The big thing with a lot of these SBCs, when you look back on a lot of them, I've got better players now. This is this is the big problem. Like you look at a Cole Palmer has an upgrade. Sissoko is fantastic value. Even the Keen I did for a review. He's going to be upgraded at some point soon and he's going to have a better option. Barcola has a better version. Um, Talvin is nice for the World Tour. Uh, player of the Month is Fodder already. Um, fodder. Morgan's solid, but again, you could go with better. Jonathan David now has a power shot plus on his inform, so better. Kovac Skilira has a better card. Garassi's nice, and he could uh, definitely be in for a decent upgrade at some point, but I like that card for now. Um, Eldasari is obviously more of a squad foundation, not really using. Dunn's decent if you've done Morgan and Swanson. Varane's fantastic. That's a great value SBC. But again, if you have got Saliba and Virgil, doesn't really matter too much. you got bench player. Uh, right back that's decent in a Serie A squad. If you're not running a Serie A squad, Walker's going to be cheaper on the option. Caicedo and Agate, nice for if you support the clubs, but realistically, there's no point to in them. Uh, Musiala, the upgrade's questionable. Lewandowski, got a better card. And then Rafinha, who, to be fair to him, is a very good right wing. So in terms of grinding, there's not really a, a kind of a worth to do it. To be honest, if you're grinding, you might as well tell, take everything that I've said and use it on the base icon at this point or the road to the knockout rush, which I don't think is that expensive anyway, which, yeah, really isn't that expensive. So you can grind that out and hopefully get someone high rated that could go into one of these players. But anyway, let me know down below what you're thinking about with Musiala. Is he worth your grind? I not too convinced, to be honest. There's not many Bundesliga teams running around anyway, but I, I feel like he's going to end up with a better card at some point very soon anyway. Let me know down below what you think, and I will catch you all for the next one.